Hi, I'm David Gonzalez and in this tutorial I'm going to guide you through Mystica VR Interface. Mystica VR Interface has been designed to be really simple but at the same time give you control of all the features that you need. The interface consists of three different panels. We can see that more clearly if we go to Window and untick the Auto Hide tabs. In here we see we have the Clip Stack, the Visual Editor and the Camera Controls. The clip stack will hold all the cameras that contribute to the actual shot, uh, so all the cameras that uh, are in your rig. Um, on the left we can activate or deactivate the speaker to choose which audio will be sent to render. And on the right we have uh, offset controls uh, to be used on rigs that haven't been synced when shooting. Uh, down on this panel we have sync uh, tools, stitching, color matching and uh, position or alignment tools. I will go more in deep into these tools in uh, next tutorials. We also have uh, options to change how the cameras are represented with big icons, medium icons or no icons at all. Moving to the next panel which is the visual editor. Um, here we can evaluate our final image on the top part then on the lower part of this panel we have the story bar which shows us all the shots that uh, are included in this timeline. We can navigate through these shots with the controls down here or we can navigate to the actual shot just by dragging the time control. So if I want to move to the next shot I will click on the next shot button or go back I can set in and out points that will be taken into account when rendering as well. If you want to see the name of a particular button, you can just stay for a couple of seconds on the button and we will get a tooltip uh, with the name of the button. So we can move one frame forward, play backwards, stop playback, play forwards and uh, move one frame forwards. We can easily navigate to certain point in time just by entering the number 00010000 will give me to will take me to one minute. And on the right to that button we have some uh, controls of, of what is shown on the visual editor. So I can hide my storyboard if I don't want to see it. I can go into mosaic mode which will show me the cameras in their original state. Uh, really useful for syncing and for when the stitching hasn't been done yet. Um, I can also activate the VR view mode which will represent the view uh, inside a headset and I can just click and drag around to check how my stitching is working in a more natural way. Uh, after that we have overlay controls, two different overlay controls. The first one will control the camera names and positions so I can hide that easily second one will control the feather radius between the cameras. Um, after that we can zoom in and out or reset the zoom. The last button will be the quick view which will drop the resolution in half uh, useful for when we want to see the shot a bit quicker. This option will not be taken into account when rendering so you are safe using it. The last panel will be the camera controls panel in which we can uh, see and modify all the parameters of our stitch. There are two different view modes so if you right click you can select if you want to see the label only or the label and value if you want to see all the values that we're using there. Inside this panel we have different tabs as well. All of them are static tabs apart from the input cameras which will be updated when we select different cameras. So that input camera panel is shared between all the cameras and we only see the parameters when we select the appropriate camera. We can also rearrange the panels, close the ones that we don't need by just double clicking on the name or open them again by double clicking again. Um, just make them wider or smaller to our taste. And the last thing that you may already notice is that we can also reorganize the panels 
to our like as well so I can move that away or put it back to what it was all the panels have some other controls when we right click on them so on the clip stack we have different options for moving cameras or adding them removing them um, on the storyboard we can change the zoom settings I'll recommend you have a look through the menus and investigate for your own self because but everything else is really clear thanks for watching Thank you.